You hear it a lot that you're supposed to bond with your horse and build trust with them in order to better your relationship, but how exactly do you do that? So in today's video, I wanted to walk through some really simple groundwork exercises you can do with your horse to start building trust. If you also check out the groundwork exercises I have for respect, those exercises apply here as well. In today's video, I just wanted to focus more on exercises that help your horse build confidence and help you see where they're at so that you can advance in building trust and building a relationship. A great place I like to start when it comes to building trust is just getting my horse to back up and face me and stand there. And this presents a great opportunity for you to see what your horse is feeling and how they're responding. So you can ask your horse to back up in a number of ways. You can shake your rope and he'll back up or you can use body language and they'll back up. So whatever you wanna do, and once he's where I want him, I'm gonna just let him stand there. And I'm going to look at his body language to see what he's saying. So right now he's just kind of chilling. The first time we ever did this, he was looking around, looking over there, looking over there. So that's a good indication that he wasn't quite comfortable. And then when I approach him, this is gonna show how he feels towards you. So if I pet him and he drops his head, like that's a good sign he's relaxed and his eyes are getting heavy. Yeah. So a horse dropping their head is a sign that they are comfortable around you. So that's what I wanted from him. And initially you're not gonna get that if you're just starting to build trust and the horse doesn't really know you, but that's something you can look for and watch. And so when you approach them is a great sign for you to show them that you're trustworthy by just petting them and loving on them. And if they're looking around, like for example, if he's looking that way, you can take his head and just kind of bring it back towards you and help him focus back. And so initially when you do this exercise, your horse isn't gonna probably be like this. It's gonna take working with them to get them like this. With this next exercise, you're gonna need a mounting block or I have a stump here because I don't have a mounting block. But everything with this is gonna be done from up on the mounting block or stump. I actually find that a lot of horses are uncomfortable with being worked from you being up higher. You may notice like with a lot of horses, when you go to line them up to the mounting block, they want to dance around and things. Well, that couldn't be for a number of reasons. One of those reasons could be that they're just uncomfortable. And so working your horse from a higher level can just help them get more comfortable and confident with that. What you can do with this starting out, I think the easiest thing is just to practice lining your horse up. Oh, and we got, we got some sharp edges on this one, so. And then you can just pat them and help them feel comfortable with it. Pet them, let them know you're here. And then you can get down because if they're uncomfortable with you up there, you getting down is kind of like the pressure and release. So you're releasing that pressure. Get up again. And another reason horses may dance around at the mounting block is because they're anticipating you getting on them. And so if you can practice getting off the mounting block, getting on the mounting block and things like that, that takes away that anticipation. And so they will be less likely to be wiggling around. But another aspect you can do is you can start working your horse around the mounting block and around you. And since you're higher up, it kind of gives you more of a respectable bubble of personal space. And then you can just work on, you know, backing them up from here. That's an easy one to do. If you're familiar with yielding the hindquarters and the shoulders, you can practice that. So I can probably get him to kind of laterally move. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Then we'll go back to the... Good. And Tucker used to be one of those wigglers when it came to going by the mounting block, so this is really good for him. This next exercise is one of the first exercises you should start with when it comes to building trust with your horse. And if you have a new horse, this is a great place to start as well. But what you want to do is you want your horse to be comfortable with you touching them all over the place. The reason for this is if both of you can be comfortable around each other, that gives both of you confidence to work together. But if your horse is uncomfortable with you around them, that's gonna come across when you're working with them and vice versa. If you're uncomfortable around your horse and you don't really trust your horse, 
they're gonna read into that. Starting out, what you wanna do is you just wanna be able to touch your horse all over. So the muzzle, the face, the ears, that's a big one, yes. The body, the legs, the belly, even kind of up more towards their groin area because a lot of horses are sensitive right there but if they have a medical need and you're going to have to work right here you want to be able to trust that they're not going to kick you you want to be able to touch their hind end and their back legs and even like their butt cheek if you have to and his was covered in poop so what are some things you can do if your horse isn't comfortable with you touching certain areas of them number one you want to make sure they're not reacting that way because of pain and so I would recommend getting a vet to check them out on that end. But if they're just reacting because they're not used to the touch, I recommend getting like a lunge whip or something that you can extend so that if your horse does kick, for example, it's not gonna be on you. And so you can take that lunge whip and just get them used to that pressure. And if you hit a spot where they start reacting, like take it back to where you know they're okay. So if he's okay with me rubbing this up here, but as I go down his leg, he gets a little bit un more uncomfortable. I'll just move it back up to a place he's comfortable and I'll just do it again. And if your horse is especially like weary with this, I do recommend looking into positive reinforcement and using treats or food as a reward because horses are very responsive to that. And so that can help you progress in that way. Another thing you can do to help your horse get more comfortable with you around them is to find their scratchy spots. So if a horse knows that your touch is good, they're gonna be a lot more welcoming to you. And so as I get to know a horse, I'll always try and find like the one spot they really like being scratched. The Tucker likes that. He also likes his girthed area. Let's see. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> And so finding those areas where you can scratch your horse and they enjoy it, like that is a way you can help build that bond with them. Building trust with your horse isn't just something that happens overnight. You have to take very purposeful steps every single day to help you and your horse improve. We just launched an online course all about helping you build trust with your horse and it will walk you through the process of how you can start developing that relationship, not only through groundwork exercises, but also by pinpointing certain ways you are communicating with your horse that you may not realize, and also pinpointing like the mindsets you have when working with your horse. So that online course is everything I have learned personally about building trust with my horses. And so if you're interested in that, check it out. The link is in the description. It's at shop.equinehelper.com, and it's how to gain and maintain your horse's trust course. This next exercise has to do with lunging your horse, but my ultimate goal with this exercise is I want my horse to be able to just walk when lunging. And the reason this is such a big deal is that, believe it or not, a lot of horses, they get really nervous and worked up when they start getting lunged, and they just look at lunging as a time to run around like crazy. With this, we're just showing the horse that this is a time for them to relax. It's also a time to focus in. So what I'm doing here is I have Tucker out on the circle, and we're lunging. So some things you can start doing to get your horse focused and calming down to where they wanna walk is number one, I'm gonna ask him to tilt his nose in more to the circle and get more of a bend through his body like that. So that way that's gonna help him focus more on me. And with this, you can kinda of like pull that nose towards you more with the rope and then take your lunge whip and point it at that inside shoulder. And so you see he's kinda of bending now and you can see the bend in his neck so another thing you can do is let's say your horse just wants to keep going and they keep moving faster and faster so what i'm going to do is i can disengage their hind end and when they come to a stop i'm going to just send them back out but i'm going to do it gently so i just want a walk and so every time that horse breaks into the trot you can go back to disengaging their hind end until they stop and then going back at a walk and initially, you may have to get rid of your lunge whip because that may be spurring them on. So you'll disengage. Till he stops, there. And then we'll go out at a walk. Another point with that is finding the right time to lunge your horse so that they can confidently walk when being lunged and realize that it's okay to just chill out. So instead of lunging your horse every time they're acting a little crazy, 
Maybe start adding lunging them in after you've ridden them and you've worked them and just lunge them and have them walk and cool down that way. That's a super easy way to start introducing it to them that this is a calm atmosphere. With this exercise, it's also going to be another pinpointing exercise where you'll be able to pinpoint exactly where your horse is kind of at and what they're feeling. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to just start walking back and forth and around in front of my horse, like from shoulder to shoulder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay attention to their head. And he's wanting to move with me initially. So I'm going to he's blocking me with his head from going over that way. And so that's a good sign of like either the horse doesn't feel comfortable with you going over there because horses are more vulnerable with you at their side. Because if you were a predator, you could just snatch their neck like that. So if a horse is feeling unsure, they're gonna try and block you from getting around them. Another thing is it could just be a dominance thing where the horse just doesn't want you over there. So that's something to watch out for. So my ultimate goal is to be able to go side from side. So if he does block me with his head, like he is now, I'm just gonna use my hand to kind of block him from blocking me. So there he quickly moved away from my hand, but I could just lay it against his head if I had to and it's just to get his head out of the way. And him moving forward even is a sign of just not wanting me to go from side to side. Good boy. No? Good. That right there is a lot better. Good boy. So now you see this is kind of where you want to be. Like you can walk around them and they're not gonna move. So from there what I can do, I'm gonna drop my rope, ground tie, and every time he moves forward or moves, I'll just put him back to where he was. But same concept, I'm gonna just walk around him. Good boy. And you can spend time at their side to help them get comfortable with you there. And this is where you can like incorporate scratching them if they have any favorite scratching spots and just to let them get comfortable around you. Good boy. Good boy. All right. And then from here you can, uh -uh. no eating. Nope. So I'm going to put him back right where he was. And then let's see, I, I'll go all the way around him. And this is a great start to ground tying too. I always like doing this exercise. I'm cantoning. <laughs> it's this weird horse girl. <laughs> So if you want to build trust with your horse, remember to check out my online course. And for those of you who have gone through my respect course, this course is different. Different groundwork exercises, different concepts. You're more focused on building the connection with your horse rather than teaching your horse boundaries. And so make sure you check that out. It's at shop.equinehumper.com. But if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos.